Dr. Michael Everett Brown is one of those suffering from cancer linked to the exposure of toxic chemicals while trying to find his brother through the debris at Ground Zero. FDNY hero Captain Patrick Brown. He details his story in the book, What Brothers Do. Dr. Brown is extremely ill due to his cancer treatment. So here to discuss his book is one of his very good friends, FDNY 20 year decorated firefighter, Tim Brown, no blood relation. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Stephanie. What is Dr. Brown like and how is that showcased in his book, honoring his brother, Captain Patrick Brown? So I was best friends with Patrick leading up to 9-11, and I met uh, D Michael Brown, Dr. Brown, after 9-11, not really knowing him very well, but of course, he's Patrick's brother, so I'm going to love him as much as I love Patrick. And uh, they're both selfless American heroes doing uh, God's work, helping other people who needed help. You know, Patrick is a firefighter. Dr. Brown is an ER doc helping our military uh, brothers and sisters. And um, Michael wanted to write this book about his search, not only the search through the rubble, but the search for who his brother was at the end of his life and who his friends were and who his girlfriends were. And what was Patrick like? Patrick was the one of the highest decorated firemen firemen murdered on September 11th. And, and, uh, and you know, who was that person? So. Mike in the book takes you through that journey of him discovering his brother's life at the end of his life and what a hero he was. And you talk about what a hero he was and Mayor Rudy Giuliani called the 23 year veteran a legend in the life of the fire department during a mass honoring Brown at New York St. Patrick's Cathedral. He was one of the best known members of the department and served as a role model for many young firefighters. Now to honor his brother's memory, Dr. Brown is donating proceeds from the sale of his book to the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation. For those who are unfamiliar, tell us more about that foundation. The Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation was founded in 2002 by Stephen Siller's uh, family, his siblings. Stephen was a hero firefighter who ran through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel with his firefighter gear to the towers behind me. Uh, and uh, he was killed when the South Tower collapsed. So they began a 5K uh, following his footsteps through the tunnel, uh, and they have over 30,000 participants do that every year, except for this year because of, of coronavirus. But uh, they have raised lots of money, and the money goes to catastrophically injured military to buy them smart homes anywhere in the country they want. It also goes to pay off the mortgages of hero police officers and firefighters, uh, families uh, who are killed in the line of duty, specifically families with small children, so that that's one less thing that they have to worry about. If you can give $11 a month to the Stephen Siller Towers Foundation, uh, pay off more mortgages and take care of our hero military. We know Vice President Mike Pence, he's currently there in New York right now where the Tunnels to Tower Foundation, the reading of the names, is set to take place. Now, What Brothers Do features a new cover. What's the re reason behind the decision and its significance? Right. Mike wanted to relaunch the book uh, here on the 19th anniversary because he wanted to update his readers about his, his own condition and what he's going through with 9-11 cancer, and also that his wife Janet died, who collaborated on the book originally with him. She died from a, a long battle with breast cancer. So Mike wanted to update the book. Uh, we wanted to do a relaunch, and we wanted the proceeds to benefit the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers uh, Foundation. And this was a, a dream uh, of Michael's to, to, to do it this way, and I'm trying to work very hard to get the word about word out about the book. Amazon calls the book the best book written about 9-11, period. Uh, and it is, Michael is an excellent writer. I hope that people will go to whatbrothersdo.com and, and get a copy of the book. You won't be able to put it down. And again, whatbrothersdo.com for our viewers watching. You can see that link at the bottom of your screen. Timothy Brown, thank you so much again for your time and letting us know about the insight into Captain Brown's life. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.